Hi everyone, it's Patty from the studio. I'm outside the studio. Beautiful sunny Saturday. Mm, hadn't had a chance to do anything to address the hair situation, but later. Um, so it's my post office day, and the post office is right here, and my thrift store is right here. So I thought, let me go in, see if it's still 50 off, and see if I can score some more goodies to offer people. And I thought I'm going to try and bring the camera in and try to film some of what I'm doing to see my thought process and what I look at, what I put back. It's usually a mob scene in here. So we're going to see if it works and maybe give you some tips on when you go out and do your own thrifting. So wish me luck. We'll see. Have a great day. See you later with better hair.
exhausted, but I spent a little more than I did last time, than I uh, the 50% off, but it was indeed 50 off, and uh, I think I got some good stuff again. I'm going away this week, so I want to have some new stash for when I get home. But uh, I'll do a quick little follow-up in terms of what I actually ended up getting. Some of the stuff I pointed out during the video, some stuff my hands were getting so full, it was getting crowded, people were getting cranky, staring at me, why are you videotaping? So I ended up saying, my eyes are really bad, so the phone helps me see up close. <laughs> and since almost everyone in there is, you know, not young, they were like, oh, great idea, yeah. So. Fake it till you make it. Stay tuned for my haul. Thanks. So this is what I ended up getting today at the thrift store, and it was 50% off again. The score. Some of them you might have seen in my little walkthrough video, but I'll just run through real quickly what I got, what I've learned, what I need to research more. Oops. Picked up these IKEA cookie cutters. New in box. Um, so I'm going to go on the IKEA site and see if they're current or if they're discontinued, which, fingers crossed, I hope they are. But they have all the sets. IKEA is a very well-known brand, and reselling it usually does quite well. So for a dollar, yes, please. Then I picked up this salt pepper napkin holder set four dollars and you know that's a little more than I like to spend but it has it's new in box it has a little caddy that comes with it it's from Deloso Designs which is not vintage it's not you know highbrow but they make a lot of wedding favors gifts like that and I just thought it was it was pretty and I like that it's a set it could be cute for uh, a bridal shower or a party, a wedding, or just to have it on your own. It was, I just thought it was a pretty set. I liked the, the gold overlay transfer on it. So that's why I picked this baby up. Ooh, precarious over there. Ooh. I then picked up these napkins. There were six of them, and I got six of them for, I think, a dollar. And it says Cacherelle, which I believe was a or is a French ready-to-wear uh, company started in the 60s these have never been used they don't even feel like they've been washed so I tend to do well on Poshmark with items like this as opposed to eBay it's a different customer so I'm going to research see if I can find anything out about the pattern but I thought they were really pretty very lightweight easy to ship and we'll see how they do yeah they're nice Brand new. This was kind of as I was waiting to pay. I saw this plate for a dollar fifty, and it's got kind of a three D element to it. I quickly looked. I didn't find any chips or cracks. And on the back it says "Made in Germany," and there's a number. I don't know if it's a mold number. There is a mark. I think it's an R. Uh, I haven't been able to find anything out about it yet, so I want to research that a little more. Could have been just a souvenir piece from somewhere, but it's ready to hang, decorative plate, and I just thought it was it was really pretty, kind of detailed, well painted. So we'll see how that goes. Excuse my reach. Whoops, ran out of space. This I just thought was really unusual. This was the most pricey thing I picked up today for $5, but it's hand-painted, just very different. It's got a satin black finish with the hand-painting and then these like gold embellishments. Interesting shape. And on the back, it says uh, hand-painted Congiosi. I don't speak Italian. So 2008 with a typo, supposed to say through the blue glass window. So there is an artist with that last name, however his work does not ref remotely reflect this, but I believe this is also a town or region possibly in Sicily. So again, this could have been a souvenir piece, but I will be 
looking into that, see if I can find out any more information. But I thought it was just very pretty, different. So that's why I grabbed that one. This is a strange little clock. Still works. This is plastic. There's nothing, you know, antique vintage about this. There's, there's no markings. However, A, it works. B, this type of foil painting, I feel like I've seen it before. I feel like I've seen it maybe on someone else's YouTube channel. It's very sweet, uh, $2.50. And I just, there was something about it that felt familiar. So I need to kind of research that. And in terms of research, a couple of hints. You can do Google Lens, take a photo, does Google Lens. Google Images, there's the things, reverse search. And also with Google, I'll type in as many words as I can think of to try to get hits. You know, foil painting, children kissing, foil moon, stars, and just keep kind of digging and see what I can find. And I would say 90% of the time I get information that leads me to the source of where something came from, what something is. I just feel like I've seen this before, a version of this. So we shall see about that. This pretty little picture for a dollar. No chips. I didn't see any cracks. I love aqua. I think aqua to me feels very retro and I like the shapes. You could use it as a pitcher. You could use it, you know, for salad dressing. And on the bottom, the only mark is 110, which leads me to believe this is an American pottery company. And again, I've said it in an earlier video, there are so many of them, not everyone is marked. So again, I'm going to do some Googling on the number. I'll type in American USA pottery with this number or California pottery or Shawnee and just kind of keep digging until I can find something that I can attribute to this little piece. I just thought it was really pretty and I love that color. This piece for 250 is actually Avon. Now we know Avon made a lot of different things but this is when I when I saw it up on the shelf I thought I knew what it was and once I looked at it closer I was right this is called their ruby red Cape Cod 1876 Cape Cod design and on the bottom it is marked with Avon and I looked up some comparable selling and I purchased this for 250 and the selling prices for this particular vase go anywhere from eight to eleven dollars again it's in great condition there's no chipping there's no cracks it's he it's got a heavy weight to it and again it's the one thing of Avon's that is still very collectible and in terms of valuing a piece for reselling if you have something at home and you're like oh, I wonder what that costs or what's the value of this thingamajig a lot of people search eBay and they see these listings for crazy prices. Don't fall for it. You know, you see things out there, the Pyrex dishes for $10,000. It's not true. The way to know for sure, there's a couple of ways. But for eBay, when you search an item, let's say you have this vase from your mom. And you know it's Avon. And you keep typing and you find out what it is. To find out a value, an amateur value, is eBay search but then filter by sold do not just look at eBay listings because I could list this for eight hundred dollars which is really crazy so you look at sold a couple of other things to look at there's a website called worth point which is a subscription service but it's been really helpful in seeing what has sold and for what money and for and when it's sold you know, something like Hummels a few years ago were worth way more than they are now, unfortunately, but I think that may come around. Uh, another website is replacements.com, and it's a huge company warehouse in Pennsylvania that stock all sorts of China, current, discontinued, and they have a free pattern service. So let's say this was a piece of 
dining a plate. I can take a couple of photos of it, send it in for free, and within five days they tell you who made it and what the pattern name is, and then you can continue doing research. Uh, Google, library books, regular research books, I love the research part of it. I, I find it exciting. It's kind of like treasure hunting. But for your own use, those are a couple of things that you can use to determine if something is valuable. And sometimes things are just nostalgic and they bring back happy memories and to that end it's priceless. Starbucks for a dollar. This is a, I guess, a Vente ceramic cup from Starbucks dated 2009 and it's got a nice little rubber stopper. I don't know if it used to have a lid. However, strangely, Starbucks sells like hotcakes for me. I've had different Starbucks mugs, collector mugs, old mugs. They sell within a couple of days. I don't know why, um, but I thought for a dollar, good condition, very clean, give it a shot for all you Starbucks lovers. For these mugs, I purchased three of them. There were four, but the fourth was cracked, and I just don't buy cracked. Unless I don't know it, I don't buy it. Sometimes I get them home and I'm like, ah, shoot. But if I see it at the store, I don't purchase it. So I got a Liberty Bell with a pretty green inside. American Eagle with a drum. Again, aqua, pretty. And an American Eagle, yellow. When I was in the thrift store, I noticed it said uh, Taylor International USA. <clears throat> So I was able to do an eBay sold search, and I bought these mugs, I think, for $1.50 each. The most current sold comps were going for $16 a cup. So that's pretty exciting, and that was kind of the lower end of the sold numbers. And I look at the lower end to see what's realistic and the high end to, to get a benchmark. But I'm very happy. I think these are going to do well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And my final item is this set from Pier 1 Imports. And again, new in box, big plus. And it's a little uh, condiment set with a tray. Uh, it's got the pattern name on it. Oil and vinegar. And just really pretty. I opened up quickly in the store and was in good condition. And the reason I picked it up for $12, uh, $12 was the asking thing was 6 bucks. Sadly, Pier 1 has just filed for bankruptcy. So my thought process, in addition to it being just a really pretty set that I could probably easily double my money on, and it's new in box, is the fact that if Pier 1 truly is going away, if I sit on this for a while it may increase its value. I don't like to take advantage of a bad retail economy, but, you know, I kind of, that's how I think. This could be worth more when there are no more. So I might put that aside for a rainy day. But that's it for today. I hope you had fun. I did. And if you liked it, please like it. Hit the bell. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. And I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to hang out with Patty at the studio. Have a great one, everybody. Bye.